We are back on the parking lot site this morning. Mid morning or almost lunch, I guess. So had to do a little running around today, and then uh, went ahead and got the loader. So I get back with me last night because it needed fuel, and I didn't have my pickup. I left this here, and then I got the uh, compactor or the roller. And then I went ahead first thing. I went. I cut that six-inch pipe which is where their downspouts all tie in because it's going to be like I think it was like four inches too shallow like it was going to be right there real close like or almost just directly under the asphalt so I'm going to see if I can lower it down a little bit I may be out of room in this ditch so I got another 60 feet that I bought and brought with me because last night I kind of KO'd a section of it with the loader so I got that cut out of the way, and then I've kind of just made the executive decision here this morning to dig this down deeper, because I needed to shave this area down. I think I needed to go down another four or five inches, and it was gonna leave like this three to four inch layer of clay in here, which I would probably be fine. I know we always use clay on all of our pads it's a little bit sticky or whatever right now I think because of the rain but underneath all of it is just a good solid base rock pad or just area right here as you can tell well I can only move this I can kind of show you what I'm talking about I was trying to kind of cut this down to the grade I was looking for a little bit you know a little bit more but then you try to drag a little more and a whole section of this clay would just come off with it. So then you're, I mean, you're a little bit deeper than what I need to be. I can just add more rock to it, so not a big deal. But if you kind of watch, yeah, I'll try to reach out here, I know I'm off camera, but you just start raking on it and you get down there and it just pulls off in a big chunk. So like I said, I'll probably have to put, you know, I don't know, three to five more loads of rock than what I was originally anticipating, but I, I don't know, I feel better. They're spending a lot of money on this little parking lot addition, so like I said, if I can just go ahead and pop this out, as you can see, it just kind of comes off in layers, but it's all just good solid base rock underneath there, so I may spend $500 more than maybe what I had originally thought of or allotted for base rock, but I feel better in doing that than leaving like this four or five inch layer of clay, which it's going to have, I got to put at least six to eight inches of compacted base rock down and then I'll do their four inches of asphalt where right here I'm probably going to have more like 12 to 13 inches of good compacted base rock. So I, I don't know, like I said, I feel better about it. I'd much rather do that and make them happy. I don't want them coming back and saying, hey, you know, this one section in this parking lot's kind of heaving or moving and stuff. So it's a little deep right here, but the rest of it was, uh, I think I was aiming for a foot and some of it was down like 15 inches. So, I mean, I was three inches over. I'm maybe six or seven inches over in this little section right here, but I feel a lot more comfortable leaving a good solid base because you can tell I mean even with the machine it kind of kind of goes down through there but this section of it is solid solid so maybe not right there that may be where the electric line runs in but it's just kind of hard to grade because you get down there where it's you know four inches thick and it just slides right off the top of that base rock so I'll, uh, I'll probably put three inch base rock down on this section like I said, it's gonna be a little thicker rock than uh, what their prints call for, but that's, uh, <laughs> no one's ever come back and said, I wish you didn't put that much base rock down here. <laughs> the worst part about it is I'm still waiting on the fence guys. So I'm gonna have rock in here, but then I'm gonna have to dig out like a five or six foot section when that fence comes out. But, I mean, at least, you know, kind of my part of it'll be, majority of it will be done out here and then when they do show up to do the fence they already have it their rock and stuff around like they're supposed to this is 
my one spot I like to load everything up because I've already got the grass and that ditch just pretty much run it up really good so we'll just keep it in the same spot and I can just fix that one section but I'm gonna pile everything up right here and then uh, give them a call and see if they can get back over here and if not we'll just kind of haul it off to my dump site and then uh, see about trying to get some base rock in here in a little bit
after for I don't know I guess kind of the end of this week so I haven't done the best job at uh, my end of the day walk around but I also haven't got as far on this job as I was hoping to in the last three days of this week so <laughs> I've got everything cut out or at least cut out to what I think is good and solid and then I had three loads of three inch base brought in here but then it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow which is Sunday so I kind of took those three loads and just spread them out as thin as I could it's a little thicker right here this was that where that concrete pad was at but or maybe it wouldn't be as muddy but and then uh if we don't get a bunch of rain it's ready to go Monday to start hauling in the rest of the rock and rolling in and kind of getting up to the grade I need yeah it was kind of one of those things this week uh every day I don't think I started over here until like 11 o'clock, so uh, I meant to, but uh, Monday, Tuesday it rained. Wednesday, I think morning was getting equipment over here. Yeah, I don't remember. And then uh, Thursday, I had to go an hour away and look at a good job with the dozer, with the builder that I do a bunch for. So we looked at that, got back, got started here like 10.30. Uh, yesterday, I met the guy that's gonna do some work to my dump truck. So I got over here at like 9.30 or 10, and then, uh, yeah, yesterday turned into a really hectic day. So uh, I've got some really cool things coming up with Takeuchi that I can't discuss, so, which involved like uh, four phone calls and like three emails yesterday afternoon. So that took a little while, and then I had a friend of mine that lives in Southern Illinois coming through. So he stopped here. We kind of messed around last night, went to dinner and hung out. Uh, and then y'all yeah, my dump truck showed up at the same time yesterday so it was a I don't know it was a busy day but and then this morning I I got a leak on uh, one of the fittings I think on the 2150 where the hydraulic coupler hooks up on the boom I took that apart and I thought hey you know I'm gonna fix that today I was putting it back together and apparently I got a little overzealous and it snapped the fitting off then I raced around town on Saturday for like three hours trying to figure out where I could get one of those and then I was about ready to just kind of give up on it went to the shop and just started looking around in the 260 and I actually found one where they plumbed the quick upper on that one in the 260 up underneath or the back side of the boom or whatever so then I raced over here put that in and uh, yeah finished cutting out the corners and kind of getting my grade and checking it with the laser and then kind of rolling in uh, what I could and stuff on there, so I'm done though. It's Saturday night. I'm gonna see if the wife and Gavin want to go eat dinner or something. And then, uh, we'll just hit this thing again Monday morning, so you guys have a good weekend.